when I was 11 years old, my mother Tamaki Ishihara told me that my grandmother Taka and my grandfather Jotaro Ishihara came from a little town way up in the mountains of Okayama called Nimi. 59 years later, I take planes and trains to Tokyo, Okayama, and Nimi. Then I took a taxi to Nimi City Hall, where I met Soji Ishihara. Soji and three of his co-workers worked for four hours to find Jotaro and Taka Ishihara. Out of gratitude, I offered to take Soji to dinner, but he said, no, I'll take you home to meet my father. I didn't know that he was a genius. But this would come to light with each precious day we'd spend together. I didn't know they would make me part of their family. This is my new friend, Yuji Ishihara. Tell me about that coin that you're holding. Yes, this coin is 5 yen. 5 yen. 5 yen. In Japanese, goen. G-O-E-N. Go goen? G-O-E-N, yes. And goen means... An, uh, the connection with other people. So uh, it's just a uh, word thing. A, a, a word that means two things. A, yes. A five yen coin yeah. and representing a connection to other people. That's the word goen. Yes. That's ah. So it's kind of a nice piece. Traditionally, Japanese people keep one of these in their wallet. Or their purse? Yes, that's right. Oh, okay. Let me see yours. You have yours in your wallet? You can keep it. Thank you. I, I don't have any purse. Oh, yes, oh. but you, you had one, yes? Yes. <clears throat> oh. oh, I have three Goyen. Oh, Goyen. yes. Yes. First, I saw that he was generous and kind. Later, I would come to see his genius. Yuji was patient while I asked hundreds of questions like, where does Japanese charcoal come from? Oh, chestnut. Chestnut tree. He took me to Nichinan City Hall where we learned where my mother's Kobayakawa family used to live. We asked exactly the right questions and they brought out map books where we learned exactly what we needed to know. And then he drove me there. Yes, <laughs> your ancestor's place is here. Jotaro and Taka yeah. lived this place. Heart stirring it was to walk where my grandparents walked and look up upon the mountains and forests that they once looked upon. Go by Akawa on the bottom? Yes. The Go by Akawa Temple. Uh, tell me about the Japanese tradition and what you have in the bag there. It's a kind of tradition to visit. When you visit the other person's place, you had better to bring something, sweet things or something like that. He taught me how to honor Japanese traditions. Leave it as a gift. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the temple now. All right. So the Kobayakawa family has lived here for 400 years. Yuji knew that this old priest would know everything about the Kobayakawa families that lived here in Nimi. Everything is in his mind and in his memory. Different Kobayakawa. Different, different Kobayakawa than our family. Yeah. This old wise priest remembers that there's a nurse down the hill who's my second cousin. We jump in Yuji's car and drive down the hill. He explains to the nurse that she is my second cousin. Imagine it's a challenge for Kyoku to understand that we're second cousins. Yeah, <laughs> Yuko is a Kobayakawa. Thank you, Yuji. It turns out that Kyoko's grandmother and my grandmother are the same person, Taka Kobayakawa. Skeptical at first, Kyoko warms up to the idea. She makes a call and we have dinner with her brother, Yutaka. The next day I meet Koji, her son, and his family. 
we have come here to Ko Soji Temple in search of more information about Jotaro Kobayakawa's side of the family. We are still in Nimi. What's the name of the temple here? Konzoji. Go ahead and put away these things here. And then we'll go. Okay, good. Yuji has just discovered that Jotaro Kobayakawa's family is just up the road, maybe five minutes from Konzoji Temple. So the priest, the younger priest, uh, guides us to the ancient burial grounds of my grandfather's family, Jotaro Kobayakawa. It's very close to Joko's house. Yes. Inside we find Mitsumi Kobayakawa, her husband, Mitsuharu Kobayakawa, and I have the same great-grandfather, Kitaro Kobayakawa. Our Kobayakawa Buddhist priest died, not a member of our family, but his family has lived here for hundreds of years. He walks us up the hill, up above our family's home. Our Kobayakawa family has lived here for hundreds and hundreds of years. When I was 15, my mother told me that her father's grandfather was samurai. Maybe his grave marker is here. All of those ancestors on Jotaro's side of the family are buried here. And the farther we go, the more ancient are the burial monuments. And you can see in the second row behind these rectangular monuments are the round stone monuments of our ancient, ancient ancestors. Yuji, Yuji Ishihara, thank you. Thank you for bringing me to the home of my ancient ancestors. The next day he opens another chapter in my learning about Japan. Yes. What's going to happen here? Uh, they are going to make steel. They're going to make steel. Uh, out of the uh, Yuji is holding iron sand taken from the rivers just above Nimi, and this iron will be smelted down into an ore that will be used for the forging of samurai swords. They are going to use charcoal and, and iron, iron grains to make steel. With lots of air and yes. lots of charcoal. And they need a lot of volunteers to send fresh air to the, to the... To the fire, yes. Yes, yeah, to the fire. So I'll, so I'll be able to come back and be a volunteer. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be back in October. One family, each passing day, I feel more like we are one family. Before he retired, Yuji was a teacher who worked with that with students. So he took me to the school where he introduced me to the teacher who took his place. Then we rushed off to pick up Yuri cars. from school. That branch makes the turn right here and comes this way. Okay, Yuri, let's go home. Look for cars. There's Grandpa. Yuji has become my teacher of all things Japanese. Yeah, say, uh, say, yeah. say his name again. Marukawa Shou-in. Marukawa Shou-in. Yes. Okay. The teacher of the uh, school which was uh, opened by the lord of this area. So he was the school teacher for the lord of the Nimi area. Yes. Ah. And he taught him. Uh, this is... He's a Yamada uh, Say that again, Yamada? Yamada Hokoku. Yamada Hokoku was one of his students. Yes. Was from Takahashi. Ah, from uh, Takahashi. Yeah. 
That evening, Soji gives me this key, making me an honorary member of his family. So this is Yuji's family record mm -hmm. that's kept inside the name of this in Japanese? What is this called? Kakocho. Kakocho. Uh, this, this kind? Yes. Butsudan. Uh, Butsudan means uh, alto. Alter, A L T E R. Oh, alter. Yeah. And say the Butsudo. Butsudam. Butsudam. Mm. And this, what's the name of this book? Uh, Kakocho. Kakocho. So. Mm. Memory uh, of the past. Memories of the past. So mm. most or all Japanese families have a Kakocho. I think so. And in it are the the dates, names, and dates of the past, uh, of the their people. ancestors. Yeah. And the date that they passed away. Yeah. So this book is like 100, 200, no, 300 years old. I don't think so. No? Not so that much. Wow. The first time I visited Yuji in the hospital, he said, does this mean we are friends now? He's taught me that now we are all one family.